Welcome back to the Ghostbusters tutorials where, the, I mean, the project is done, we're just doing the final challenge, which is more sprites, trying to having more types of ghosts and bats and, you know, spooky creatures to catch. And we are, as I record this, just about two weeks to Halloween, so this is ideal. Now, how big should the sprite should be? So, how many points? What does it look like? when it gets caught. I'm just gonna like add the bat and add the other ghost. Let's let's put them in. Um, that's our bat. No, I probably should be able to select the whole lot of the code here. And plug it in the bat. Oh. All right, yes, I can cut and paste using the shortcuts. So um, you select your, your blocks and do Control or Command C to cut, copy, and uh, and Control or Command V to paste. Oh, no, I only get the second one. Let's paste the first one. Or you can redo them, you know, as, as they are. Now this is where we, we would fine tune the... Um... So let's say that our bat starts at maybe 60% size, and we'll pick a random size from 30 to 100. Um, but I'm gonna make it appear a little bit longer, so from one to three. Uh, and I'm going to say, for the sake of it, I'm going to say the bat is worth two points. And what kind of sounds does it have? Yeah, well, why not the owl? Okay. Yeah, it's quite tiny. So this is where you kind of fine tune your game with those, like the weight, how often do they appear? Like if, if I make it between no and five, or even between say two and five, it's gonna appear much less often. So that could be like a rare, a rare ghost that might be worth more points. Uh, or if it's smaller, it should be worth more points because that's harder to catch and, and so on and so forth. So let's have, have an, another little go, hmm, white one. Not Ghost Phantom, perhaps? Uh, Spectre? Fantasy? This isn't fantasy, right? Ooh, a skeleton. I mean, if I can't find the... I can't find the pretty... white ghost. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, some cool animations in there. Alright, skeleton it is. So again, select this. Copy. Paste, say like that. Paste it now. Um, twenty at one twenty. Um, And what sounds does it have? It's a rattle. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, this is super difficult. Well, six, six, six points in ten seconds. Let's see if I can. Ah. Uh. Twelve points in ten seconds. I think that. I mean, you know, we can add, you can add as many enemies or 
you know, creatures, whatever you call it, sprites. I mean, there's, there's just more sprites with the same type of code, except you're changing some numbers. So in that case, for instance, the skeleton, I said that its y-axis, which is how high it is, should be just minus 10 to 10. So it doesn't really move. It's only going to be in between here. It's always going to be roughly at that level, which makes more sense because the skeleton doesn't fly. It kind of walks on the ground. So I felt that made more sense. Uh, in fact, I could probably go all the way down or minus 120 because it could come to the very front or you know, to the bottom, which is going to look like the front. But the, the thing I would like to have is now this is completely optional this is challenge it's not even in the code of the code club but really here this is this is when we've 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 done with the timer we've, we've all the 10 seconds are gone we can't play anymore um i'd like maybe they could all reappear i don't know what i'm going to do but we're going to stop all the code well that's a bit final um what can we do we could probably send a message I like messages, they, they allow you to keep your code much, much cleaner. So this is what's going to be broadcasting game over. Um, and we can't, let, let's not stop the code just yet. Um, and let's have a little block. When I receive game over, I'm going to want to I'm going to want to stop the other scripts in this sprite and just show it wherever it is. I'm going to copy this, um, select it. paste in here and it's the, it's the same block uh, in all three the idea is that we want to kind of stop the other one so all of the kind of moving and changing signs so on but they're going to show so like once you're done all three of them appear to say that's the end of the game and maybe um, maybe they could say something that could be cool if like you know they were they would So the, that ghost is going to say game over, maybe. The bat is going to say you have scored, you have scored. How do I... Mm -mm -mm. Kind of operators. And we join it. So there's this two joints I need to do. You have scored, and then it's going to join the variable, which is score, here, and here, just space. Probably don't need the space because it's going to add the space. It says, you have, yeah, join score points. And the skeleton is just going to say, click the green flag to, to play again. Now, something that, like, a potential problem I can imagine is that they're going to end up, and they, the three of them are going to show themselves, but they may be in, like, weird positions, so maybe not everything they will say will be visible to the player. Let's test it. God damn it. Ah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Because... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in principle, it's kind of the right idea, but maybe I need to kind of move them to... Okay. Um... OK. 
Okay. I'm just going to um, get them to go to specific positions so they're not like. Yeah, that's that's okay. Maybe a bit like X hundred. Yes, that's good. And for the bat, hmm. fifty. Yeah. Okay, this should look much better. Oh, I need to play and win. Well, win. We need to score some points. Well, ah, here we go. Uh, and you kind of need a space between six and points. So uh, I'll just do that by adding a space before the P of points. And this should look nice. And what's cool about this is it kind of clearly tells you, and you know, the player knows what to do, and they, cl they click the green flag, and the game starts again. So that's the lot. I'm going to share it. Uh, let's see how that works. Is it all in one word? It's actually Ghostbusters in one word. We have a lowercase b. And I'm going to link to Add to the studio, Add and Cut Club, okay. And is that is that published? I think that that means it's just yeah. And this is helpful. I'm going to copy it so that you can you know here's one I made earlier, as it were. Here's the one I made in the video. So that's it, and you, you're getting to see a lot of the behind the scenes of how I work to make the tutorials. I hope. They have been clear and helpful, and uh, if you have questions, of course, don't hesitate to ask them in Google Classroom or under, uh, if, you, if you're not a member of the uh, Acton and Ealing Coder Dojo Google Classroom, you could always ask to join, but you can also comment under the YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. I'll see you very soon, hopefully, or you'll hear from me very soon in, well, the next tutorial.